It was with the First Lady yesterday. He will be masking while indoors and around people in alignment with CDC guidance. And he, as, as has been the practice in the past, the President will remove his mask when sufficiently distanced from others indoors and while outside as well. The CDC guidelines recommend a combination of masking, testing, and monitoring for symptoms. The President is doing all of that in, con in close consultation with his physician. There are currently no updates to the White House COVID-19 protocol. The most rigorous and comprehensive analysis of scientific studies conducted on the efficacy of masks for reducing the spread of respiratory illness, including COVID-19, was published last month. Its conclusions, said Tom Jefferson, the Oxford epidemiologist who is the lead author, were unambiguous. There is just no evidence that they, masks, make any difference, he told the journalist Mayan Damasi, full stop. But wait, hold on, what about the N95 masks as opposed to the lower quality? Surgical or cloth masks makes no difference, none of it, he said. Well, what about the studies that initially persuaded policymakers to impose mask mandates? They were convinced by non-randomized studies, flawed observational studies. How do we get beyond that finding of that particular review?